And we're live. Great. We did it. That's the best part. Great. The best part is being um, live. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Um, I'm sick. <laughs> we can tell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to be Stop muting myself. I'm going to be muting myself a bunch. Stop it. Isn't it weird how close to the end of the year it is? Yeah. This year like, yeah. has gone so quick. <laughs> yeah. For me. I think it's because usually by this point, like I'm always home, like back with my parents. And this year I'm not. I'm going back later than usual. So it's super weird. Like Christmas is in like four days. Yep. That's true. I feel like I came out of nowhere. <laughs> As somebody who didn't do a lot of Christmas shopping, I agree. <laughs> it definitely did. <laughs> it came out of nowhere. Yeah, I'm excited to be off and to have some good family dinners and stuff this weekend. So that's sure. Be good. Yeah, that's right. You leave tomorrow for family stuff, right? Yeah. Cool. Yep. So that'll be good. Cool. Cool. John, any holiday plans? Yeah, spending Christmas Day with my family, going up to my sister's place, just uh, in Airdrie, just north of us. That's not bad. That's nice. Yeah. yeah. Cool. And then Sean is coming up here starting Sunday. Yeah, I'll be there for like two and a half weeks. Yep. Better not be sick. I mean, I'm I'm probably going to still be sick. I I would wish I would love to not be sick. Mm-hmm. Um, stop being sick. Not oh, being sick. Game would be nights. I'll have to play some board games, some video games. I mean, I'm overcooked. Gonna, I want to. I want to beat overcooked. Let's do I'll, it. I'll try to come out. I work like every day, so <laughs> I'll try. Though we'll see what we can I'll work out. See, see what we can do for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm gonna cough through this whole podcast. <laughs> you can hear it in my voice. I'm, it's so deep and like raspy. Well, people will be listening to this probably over their holidays, so we hope you're having a happy and safe holiday and all that. Happy horse shit not that everybody like says. Yeah, don't be sick like Sean and you'll probably be fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I guess we'll, we should just start because Sean actually <laughs> not stop coughing. It's coughing really and blowing my nose. It's, it's really This fun. has been this all day. It, the, re it, the reason is is because like I can only take my like nasal decongestion like every 12 hours. So I can't do it for another like hour and a half. So at this point, it's basically worn off, but I still yeah. need to wait the hour and a half. So this is like the worst part of the day, right? Yep. Yep. It is for sure. Speaking of the worst part of your day, you are listening to the Top Down Perspective. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That segue, though. <laughs> We're here to cheer you up because it's the worst part of your day. Why else would you be listening to us? You need a That's boost. That's true. Yeah, you need you need a boost. You come in, you come to the top down perspective. Yeah, exactly. What else could I possibly mean? We're like the influenza vaccine for your sickness, I guess. I don't know. Anyways, it's so the twenty first. So you're like an anti vaxxer Are you not listening to us? I mean, <laughs> for a variety of reasons, I'm sure. <laughs> yes, but I'm gonna say if you're an anti vaxxer you got more problems. But I mean, like, I don't want to get political here. More problems than what, Sean? Is that like what I've been playing? <laughs> Is that it's supposed to be like what I've been playing? Take it. Take it. More no. problems than Night in the Woods. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Anyway, Perfect. yeah, December 21st. John Wheeler is here. Paul Flex here. Sean Booker is here. Um, and yeah, we, I guess let's do what I've been playing first. Yeah, let's do it. I, fi I finished up Night in the Woods. Okay. I love that game. Fun story. I refunded that game because I'm not going to play it. Oh, Ooh. all right. Did you pl play any more of it after last week? No, I just there's other games I want to play. I I'm not going back to it. What I will do is I'll probably watch somebody else's playthrough while I'm at work because okay. I can do I can't play a game at work, but I can kind of like have something on the side. Have YouTube going or something. Yeah. So that's probably how I'll experience it. Just so. I know the end of the year stuff is going to spoil the stuff anyway, so I'd like to at least get that first experience of the story. I mean, I'm not going to talk some... about spoilers. Not you. Okay. <laughs> other like things I listen other... to. Yeah, yeah. That, you're, that's a good point. Yeah. Um, 
the one bad part about that is it's not voice acted, so you'd have to like have your full attention on the video. You know what I mean? The nice thing about Let's Players and streamers and stuff is that to it's an easy way to fill dead air just by reading the stuff. Oh, and, yeah, and they might do like a kooky voice. Yeah, th that's kind of what I'm hoping for. <laughs> I'm hoping I, know, I can find there's somebody some, who reads it all. There's a lot of subject all. matter in that game that I would not want, like, a kooky voice for. Oh, that, like, that game gets real. See, that's even better the kook, for the kooky voice. Then. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. Um, I'm glad you're anyway, liking yeah, it, I, though. I, I ended up really enjoying that game. It goes to some, some like, it goes to some dark places. It goes to some real interesting places. Cool. There's a lot of heart in that game. Um, I don't know if I just, like, missed out on stuff, but I don't think you can like get full relationship with every single character in one playthrough. I think you have to like make a choice between two specifically that I'm thinking of, but okay. Um, cause a lot of the times when you say like, Hey, let's go hang out. That's going to, after you do that, it's going to be the end of the day. And then you're kind of locked out of doing other stuff. So you have to try and get as much done as you can before that. Yeah. So I got it for the most part. Some things I never even came across when I was looking at the achievements afterwards. Um, However, I don't think I'm going to go back to playing it again just because it's so story based. And it's it's a bit slow to do it a second time. Sure. Uh, but yeah, there's there's a lot of cool things that happened to it. The ending was fun. I, I loved all the little vignettes and stuff The the characters were a good time. And uh, yeah, just overall, I just I really liked that that story quite a bit. It was a good I enjoyed it a lot. Cool. I think the story will get better. I just don't want to spend my time my video game time right now basically like flipping pages in a book i'd rather have sure. somebody read it to me essentially yeah i mean y y time is precious so like if you're not feeling it don't don't slog through something you're not feeling right and i mean for like you'll be excited to hear that i'm going to be playing pyre so because i know yeah, you like I, that I, game a sure. lot so Pyre's we could actually game. talk about that's that that's another one. like this is basically a book game right there's also stuff with some weird orb dunks in it but so maybe that'll split no. things up for a bit the orb dunks, yeah. Orb dunks. We'll see. Um, we'll see. Yeah, and even even with the main story of Life is Strange, I don't think that's even the best part of it. It's like the character interactions that just kind of happened of like why these characters are here, like what their kind of backstory is and yeah. their feelings towards other characters. It's the relationships that are the, the big part. For sure. Uh, the story does go some places, but I think the best part is the character relationships. Agreed. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> um, apart from that, I started up Hellblade. Okay. I've only, Where, I've only played maybe you? like 20 minutes into it. Okay. Have you like discovered where you're going yet? Oh, no. Okay. Okay. I've done combat maybe twice. How do you... Okay, here's the thing. How do you like that combat? I really like that combat. Good, because you're going to be doing a fuck ton of it. <laughs> no, that seems fine. Like, Okay. It's, as long I, as you're fine really with good. that, you'll like the game. That's the yeah, one gripe people have. I, I totally don't quite know like what all the combos and stuff are if it's random or if i'm hitting the right combination but like she'll do like some crazy moves out of yeah. nowhere that it was just like i did not expect you to do that i thought you were just gonna do a slash but instead you did like a behind the back stab through his leg or something yeah yeah, yeah. it's cool like and they don't tell you anything like they don't even really tell no. you how to play it unless you pause the game so half the time it's like oh i didn't really know that counters were in this game but you just did a counter and it looked sweet yeah or when you're like close to death and then the voices in your head are like, man, he's going to come get you. you got to get up. And you're just like, oh, shit, because like all the like, visuals are going crazy. And there's this dude just walking towards you, like yeah. coming out of like, <laughs> like the blur in the background. That happened to me once. And it was just like, shit, <laughs> like I was mashing everything. I didn't even know what to hit. Um, are you playing this with headphones or speakers? So I started with sp speakers and then I thought, wait, I'm pretty sure audio is a key to this game. So it's I, pretty I, good. I switched to the headphones. Yeah. And I will say. It's better with headphones. Yep. But it was a bit too much for me. Like I was getting right. like just creeped out. And yep. I was like, the, and and that that's gotta that's gotta be on purpose, right? Like that's totally the point. Doing it. Oh, yeah, yeah totally. that's totally the point. Um, but like it was like t it was a point to that it was like almost like it was becoming a bit of a like a horror game, kind of scary, creepy. Where I was just like, this is just too much happening. Yeah. And it's it's turning me off a little bit. So I I unplug the headphones. There's some weirdly um, intense parts for like people that don't like horror -y stuff i will say i don't feel it ever goes complete like oh this is a horror game now it, there's that's good one to hear. there's one part in particular that is like oh this is awesome but it's kind of creepy as well and i think that's as far as it goes 
Right. Yeah. So just as someone who doesn't really do scary stuff very well, I, I unplug the headphones. I do. I see what they're getting for. And like, yep. I would recommend to people who are fine with that. Go headphones because I can easily see how that's the whole point of it. I mean, it's, it is a better it's simulating the mental illness of just hearing voices consistently nonstop while you're trying to do a thing. Yeah, no, no, I totally get it. And I think that's the way to play it. Just for me personally, I just like I won't be able to play it with like. I won't be comfortable playing it if I if I don't if I do that. So you're not supposed to I be comfortable. Put, <laughs> I might yeah. put them back on. Who knows? But uh, for now, I have them on. No, just go through it. Just um, get it done. Yeah. But anyways, uh, that game looks gorgeous. Yep. Uh, the character looks so good. Yep. Um, and already like the uh, the uh, her performance is great. I can see why she was winning or totally. she won the VGA award. The um, the permadeath thing. Okay. I'm, I'm I'm so like freaked out about that. I can't remember because this happened months ago where people were saying like it's fake. It's not fake. It's kind of fake. Ha- am I and I guess spoilers for people, but I kind of just need to know. Am okay. I going to lose all my progress if I die too much? I don't know. You should just not try to die. Probably. Believe me, I'm doing my very best not to die, but it's like it is stressful. But it's just all right. All of the things me. that you are saying that are like stressful is exactly there for that reason my friend no i i get it but like i don't want to start that game over man as i say to only 20 minutes into the game mm. anyway here uh, i'll easier I, i'll ease your mind a little bit and say okay. you would have to be actually the worst person ever tip for anything to happen <laughs> like i'd have to die like 90 times or something like maybe more <laughs> or something. Okay. Yeah, okay. you'd have to be the worst. Like actually. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Um. Anyway, so yeah, I've only played maybe twenty, thirty minutes of that, uh, and that's a Hellblade: Senua's Sacrifice. Yeah. Uh, another game I played is uh, Ultimate Chicken Horse. Yeah. The, the new update, okay. like it just came to consoles. Oh. The, the, the ele- elephant update or whatever. Okay, uh, so I haven't this played ha- this game in a long time, so... Yeah, so this one just has uh, more levels, a new character, an, an elephant, like a pink elephant or whatever. Sure. Um, new costumes, new items. Some of these items are real good, like just a wrecking ball that swings back and forth. That yeah. one's pretty good. Okay. Also, a, a weird machine that just throws paper airplanes across, and you can ride the paper airplanes. That was cool, too. Um, Do also, they kill you if you get hit by them? No, probably, but no. they don't last very long, so you can only ride them for a bit of the screen. Gotcha. Okay. Um, I think this one's new. It's a cog that if you put uh the glue on it and then hit, put anything else on it, it'll just rotate that item, which uh, is really I great when you have like a buzz think, saw or something. I think that was already there. Uh, is the difference that it's consistently rotating? It's always rotating. It's just a is tiny it, little. Is it, is it like rotating 90 degrees, stopping, or is it like always spinning, no stopping? Always spinning. It's a tiny little cog. All right, then maybe it is a little different. I think that is new. Yeah, because I know what you're thinking of, John. I'm pretty sure it's what you said the 90 degree stop, 90 degree stop sort of thing before. Huh. I don't know which one you guys are talking about, but I'll take, I'll take your word for it. <clears throat> There's also like a challenge mode. I don't know if that was in the original game, but I don't recall it. Um, hmm. there's like a level browser now, which that's like a great update to put that in there. That is cool. Yeah, that yeah. sounds cool. Um, I also, when I was just kind of looking up information about it, I guess the PS4 version, you can pl- uh, play against or with people on the PC. I don't know if the Xbox oh. one can do that. That's cool. Uh, but I'm playing it on the Xbox. So, hmm. uh, that game is still great and absolutely hilarious. I was playing with a buddy and we... Yeah. Uh, a, a thing that we enjoyed doing quite often was so we we're just playing online. So we had some randos join us and we were always wondering, like, hey, do they have the same mentality to, as us? And we would try and just lock everyone into the start. Like, you have to just kill yourself because it's yeah. stupid. Yeah. And then um, it's great when people join you. So we get someone like one guy's like, hey, we've been here like two rounds. I got to blow up one of these walls. And then someone else just puts a wall right back there. Yeah. And oh it's like, God. that's awesome. This guy's on board. Yeah. <laughs> And that's a fun time. Um, Ultimate Chicken Horse is totally the type of game that, like, if we ever did a TDP gaming thing, would have to be one of them, for sure. Yeah, it's absolutely great. It's a great one. 
yeah. So I'm going to play more of that. Um, yeah, so that's that's all I've been playing. Cool. John, what about you? What have you been doing? What you up we to? We finished Yakuza. <laughs> Not much but you. <laughs> we, we finished Yakuza 0, and we've moved on to Yakuza 1. Oh, man. How do you like but Yakuza are... 0? Yakuza 0 was excellent. I had a great time with it. Cool. Uh, Yaku- Yakuza 1, we're playing Yakuza Kiwami, which is the uh, remake on yeah, PS4. Yeah, I was just going to ask, are you doing the remake or the, the other one? Yeah. They're also remaking uh, 2 for this year. Yes. Uh, thank God, because I actually went back and looked at like the PS1 Yakuza one. It's good. it would have been very hard to go back to that after playing the uh, Yakuza Zero on PS4. Oh yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. Like Yakuza One came out when Sean and I were working together, for example. Oh man, that might have been that might that might have been Yakuza Two actually. So like it's it's been a while. No. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. Well, Actually, I mean, I could... it wouldn't it wouldn't have looked that bad. That was just last gen. Well, ten years ago, so we, we were working together ten years ago. No, we weren't. It, it was nine, I think. Two thousand nine. Nine. Started ten, working. Yeah. 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 So yeah, you. Uh, I think Yakuza Zero and Kiwami say a ten year anniversary. So I guess two thousand seven is when the series started. Okay. So that still would have been like PS three, right? That's PS two. Yakuza mm-hmm. one and two are PS two. Okay, it must have been tail end because didn't the PS3 come out 2007? Uh, that does sound Xbox right. was 2006, I thought. Uh, and that was early. Uh, uh, Yakuza video game came out 2006 for us, 2005 in Japan, but like December 2005. So, yeah, okay. So Yakuza one was 2006. Okay, I want to say that, here's my guess. Then I um, I think four may have been the first one on PS3. Nope, number three. Number three, okay. I think I actually okay. own four, now that I think about it. Huh. Interesting. And I don't know how. Yeah, probably three, f- three, four, and yeah, Dead Souls probably. are on the PS3. Uh, I have to double check five. I think five's PS4. No, five is also PS3. Um. So yeah, uh, three, four, five, and Dead Souls are on the PS3. One and two are on PS2. And currently, uh, zero... Kiwami 1 are on PS4 with Kiwami 2 and Yakuza 6 coming for PS4 this upcoming year. And the the Fist of the North Star uh, crossover game. So you're going to play them all now? Are you dedicated? Kind of. I think we're kind of invested in the storyline and the characters. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So I'm actually curious to see what the hell happens with everyone and how the fuck everything connects together from what we've seen. That's cool. Also, I'm, I really like the gameplay, so it also really works out. It's basically just like a crazy brawler. And then like there's just these moments of like insanity popping up in the actual like storyline and stuff like that. That just kind of hooked me in. Nice. I hear you like one of my I hear good things. So, yeah, like one of my favorite missions, I, I, don't, I guess spoiler alert, for whatever. One of my favorite side quests in Yakuza Zero that I did was uh, we helped Michael Jackson and Steven Spielberg make the Thriller music video by hitting zombies with a bicycle. Yep. All right. That's nice. how it went down. So that makes yeah. sense. No, like, it's weird, dumb shit like that that are just like, okay, this is more than I expected. No. Yeah. Cool. I recommend anyone who likes Brawlers pick up Yakuza 0 and then, like, try it out. Because, honestly, it was, like, a really good entry point, honestly. Like... It introduced all the characters that I'd need to worry about. And then, like, Yakuza 1, now it's like, okay, here's these characters from the first game. Like, oh, that's what happens to them. Like, oh, that's what triggers this. the rest of the series, blah, blah, blah. So, it's been cool. Also, cool. it's, they're, like, insanely long or insanely short, depending on what you want to do. Cool. Like, I What think, did you clock I, in at? Uh, 89 hours, I think, for Yakuza 1, or 0, rather. Wow. And I think completion, that was with 89% of the game complete. As, apparently, if I had sat down and did 100%, it would tack on another 40 hours. Hmm. Roughly. That's what How Long to Beat says, anyways. Uh, by comparison, it looks like Yakuza 1 is going to take maybe a third of that time. Interesting. Hmm. Cool. Question yeah, in the I, chat here, I guess another spoiler. Hey, John, did you get the one that involved getting a chicken as one of your financial managers? Yeah, so uh, the main character, Kiryu, he uh, at one point starts running like uh, a, uh, what the 
how's the word I'm looking for here? Ice cream shop. No. Right. Mm-hmm. He starts working in a real estate agency. And close. Uh, yeah, cl- yep. very close. <laughs> and he has to manage, uh, you know, these different managers to, to manage the area so they can earn extra money and help raise the value of areas that he's like, investing in. And if you go to this uh, bowling alley and start hitting on the girl that works there, she'll challenge you to bowl a turkey, which is three uh, strikes in a row. Okay. I can't do that in real life. Yeah. Same here. Uh, so if you do that, she promises you'll get a turkey dinner because it ha- happens around Christmas. So it's like, oh, you're getting a nice Christmas dinner. Is that like fr- is that like a deal the bowling alley has or just her specifically? Deal with the bowling alley. It's what the bowling alley has as a promo. Yeah, that's that's great. I would love if someone yep. did that in real life. <laughs> so you go, you bowl the turkey, and then she says, oh, congratulations, you did it. Here's your turkey. And then it reveals it's a chicken. And not only that, it's still alive. That's just funny right there. Yeah, so like it just, you just see Kiryu and the chicken just stare at each other for a minute. And he's like, hmm, this isn't a turkey at all. In fact, it's alive and it's a chicken. So uh, <laughs> the girl apologizes. But he had to first. Yeah, exactly. So then the girl's like, oh, don't worry. I can go back and kill it if you want to have some, at least some fried chicken. I'll like, kill I it right here if you want with my you know, hands. She, <laughs> she actually says that. She's like, I used to work on a chicken farm. I can do this. So then it, he just spends another minute just staring at the chicken. It just keeps panning in to his face and the chicken's face Good. like multiple times. And Not he's like, no, no, I'm going to keep him. Like, what, you're going to keep the you're going to keep the chickens like, yeah. And I think I'll find some use for him. Excuse you. Then, I want this chicken fair and square. Yeah. And then it's like. <laughs> He calls the chicken Nugget, and it yep. says Nugget has, jo- has joined cruel. your company. Nugget has joined your company as a financial manager, and then he's actually one of the decent ones. He's like <laughs> upper end manager. All right, it's ridiculous. I love that game so much. If I had more time, I would play the Yakuza games. Totally, totally. But yeah. I, I don't have yeah. eighty nine hours. Just well, here's just now, wait. here's the thing. That's if you do one hundred percent. If you just beat the storyline, it's twenty hours. That's cool. not bad. Yeah, it's a significant better. difference, basically. Yeah. But I'm, I feel like these side quests are where it's like really great. Yeah, there's a lot of weird, weird shit in the side games. Yeah. So, but like we spent like maybe 50, 60 hours just doing like a specific side quest. So wow. if you don't do those, then good. Because there's basically like a complete. At that point, is it a side line. quest if it's longer well, than the game? <laughs> well, there's like complete secondary storylines that both characters can do like separately. So there's one for uh, Kiryu, one for Majima. And uh, Reese got obsessed with the Majima one, so we spent 30-plus hours playing that one and trying to get through the storyline for it. And then Kiryu's is a little more lax, but a lot more fighting in, like, minigames, so... Hmm. All right. I don't know. I recommend it. It's way more than I expected the series to be, and I highly recommend it. Cool. Cool. That's it for yeah. you, then? Anything else? Uh, pretty much, yeah. I've been ha- slowly hacking away at... Uh, at uh, Xenoblade very slowly, and we beat and played all of Action 52 over the past week. So you did do it as your finale for that. Yeah, nice. we, hit, we hit the last game on our 52 games, and we played Action 52. Nice. Uh, all 52 games worked. What is Action 52? It is a notoriously bad NES game collection of 52 games, apparently made by three college students, but sold for oh, like 200 okay. bucks. I keep getting this confused with... What is it? UFO 52 that's coming out? Is that some, something like that? UFO 30 yeah. is what I thought it was. Yeah, I know 30? which one you're talking about. You're talking about the one with the Spelunky guy, right? Yeah, I kept thinking it was that until you said notorious. And I was like, well, it's not new then. No, it's not new. It's quite old. Action no, no. 52. It's, it's an NES game. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there are very little quality games on there as in zero. So nice. So did we, you have to beat 52 mini games? They were they're all like games, but we didn't have to beat them all. We basically just wanted to play them all. OK, uh, we beat maybe 15 or 16 of them. All okay. right. The others that it would have taken forever, <laughs> glitched out on us or uh, just weren't worth it. Yeah. What's the what's the best one? I guess Cheetah Men. Cheetah Men. OK, yeah. What's the worst one? Uh, I, I can't narrow that down to one. Okay. Well, what's the worst five? God, I've forgotten half of them already. Um, or what's some that stick out as like just bad? 
There's one where you're a character that looks like uh, the Count from Sesame Street, except you don't have your cape on, and you have a bunch of like werewolves and, and skeletons chasing you, but you can't attack, you, so you have to jump over them and run. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, there's another one where you are fighting Fettuccini. I think it's like Alfred and the Fettuccini is the name of the wow. game. All right, you're just like, you're just a chef that hits things with a spoon, and just like super fast uh, pieces of food are running at you. There was some like uh, top down shmup where if you lose all your power ups, then when you respawn immediately, a heat seeking enemy locks on you and kills you. So we just drained like three lives instantly. Okay. There's just a lot of bad in there. <laughs> Terrible. All right. Well, so that this was the fit, and this was the fiftieth to fifty second game. Yep, you did it. Congrats! Hooray! Yeah, congrats. You did What's it. next year's goal? I don't know. I have to pick a hundred and four. <clears throat> no, I was thinking about that. I'm like, that's too much. That's too much. <laughs> yeah. One Especially game. since there's sometimes where you're just like gone for a month, so you just yeah, like exactly. missed out on clearing like twenty. Good, that's that's... <laughs> Exactly. There's all my time gone, basically. Yeah. Man, that would be ridiculous. You would have my respect for whatever that's worth to do 104. <laughs> I would also have no free time. True. I probably didn't even play 104 games this year. Like, it's a lot of games. It is I, a lot of games. I did. I'm probably the only one out of the three of us who did, because that's usually what I do on stream. Right. Right. Because I mean, just that's like a new game every three days, and I'm definitely not playing them at that at that uh, rate. Yeah. All right, is that it? Is that it? That's it. Paul. Yeah, I've been kind of everywhere this week. Um, mobile. I didn't write it down here, but I've been playing Katamari, Amazing Katamari, on the phone. It's just like Amazing an endless runner. Katamari. Yeah, it's just an is endless this, runner. Is this that new one? I don't know. Is it new? I don't know when it came out. There, I just downloaded there's, it. There's there's two Katamari games on mobile. One's a clicker, and then one. This is an endless runner where you're consistently okay. moving a ball, and you have to move from side <clears throat> to side to collect. Okay, I think shit, I think this basically. is the new one. Either way, okay. I hear they're both like real bad. Yeah, this one's all I, right. I but... liked the clicker for a while. It was okay at best. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, it's also wow, a clicker. This, this is straight up. An endless runner, holy shit! It is an endless runner for sure, where you just collect shit. I think so, the other one is like tap that? my katamari or something like that. Yeah, tap my katamari was the that one. sounds that sounds right. Yeah, so yeah, uh, that's just been my brainless like. I guess I'll do this for fifteen <laughs> minutes game here and there. Um, also, I started the fighting game thing. We're gonna play a fighting game a week with a uh, King of Fighters thirteen Steam Edition. That game was all right. I, like, there's not a whole hell of a lot to say about that one. The backgrounds are amazing, and I think that's the best part of that game, is that all of the environments you go into are great. Especially the one where there's just, like, a tribe of bears watching you fight. They're just so happy. They're so happy. Is a group of bears called a tribe? I don't know. Okay. But yes, probably. All right. Um... The big one is I went back into Ghost Recon Wildlands as I do every now and then because they had a special event where the fucking Predator was hanging out in Colombia and you have to go kill him. What? <laughs> yeah. So if for people that don't know what the Predator or what Predator is, it's a movie from the 80s starring Arnold and a bunch of other stars at the time. Like, how do you know oh, you're know good, who you're Predator good, you're good is? Your good buddy, uh, first name basis, Arnold. Arnie. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnie. L little Arnie, as I used to call him. Back and on the playground. It's just like a dumb war movie, except it turns out that there's like this alien life form that can go invisible at just like hunting them. And that's what that movie is. So that character or that alien is now in Wildlands for an event. And I needed to see that because Predator is one of my favorite movies from that era. <laughs> so, did you listen to the uh, the Giant Beast cast when they talked about this? No. The way I found out about this is that Ubisoft has on their UPlay just like these big fucking things that say like Predator now or whatever, like all over. 
What so did the, the, beast cast? the beast cast they they were talking uh and i think their idea is is the best they okay. were saying this is not how they should have announced this they should have told nobody and then you're just playing wildlands right. and all of a sudden the predator just comes out and like kills one of your guys yeah. and it's this weird no, they like word of it. mouth thing going around they should have done it yeah. that way I'll would tell you the been so cool. That would I'll be incredible. I'll tell you the problem with it is that nobody would ever have found it. <laughs> I, I I think you're wrong. I think the inter- it would have spread pretty quick. I think you're wrong because I don't think enough people play that for it to spread. If it was well, natural, somebody. I mean, I there, guess, well, I guess there I has to be one seed. I think it would have spread, but there has to be one guy. I don't know that there would be an origin point <laughs> at this point. Not many people are playing that game anymore, so. Actually, if somebody in chat could look up a number, that would be interesting. I'd like to know how many people are playing that game. Regardless, that thing is kind of stupid the way it's implemented because Predator is a giant bullet sponge that just takes like... Oh my god, I don't even know how long I was shooting at him. Like a, a solid 10 minutes of shooting ammo into him, which is... Like, not fun when it comes down to what that whole thing is. That is that accurate to the movie, though? No. <laughs> I actually haven't seen the movie, so... Okay, so the way it probably should have been done is he just picks off your dudes, and then you, like, he's hiding, and then you get, like, one shot to kill him, and then you have to take it, and then that's that. Instead, what it is, is he's running around shooting his laser cannons at you, going invisible and jumping away when he takes a certain amount of damage and that just repeats over and over and he gets faster and faster at it. That's what that whole thing is, is just waiting okay. him out, putting a bunch, putting a magazine into him, waiting for him to come back and doing the same thing and try not to die the whole time. That being said, it was real hard with two people. Like, I did it with uh, Homer and we couldn't do it because we just kept dying like w- there wasn't enough time for him to get me up or me to get him up if one of us was downed so he would just pick us off slowly and then we would be screwed i did it solo because you have three ai buddies and he targets all of you equally like you and the ai buddies so there's already two more targets than what when we were doing the two player v- version of it for him to like spread his attention around so i was able to get more shots off on him and the ai guys just keep healing each other so i didn't have to worry about another person (laughs) right well i mean hey yeah four is better than two is that just makes sense that it'd be easier with more guys yep no yeah no for sure like another i'm just the reason i'm complaining about it a little bit is because i think another thing they should have done is made it scale depending on how many people are in your party for how much damage he takes at the very least Sure. Like, just make that num, cut that number in half if X equals two instead of four, essentially. Right. But Homer's in the chat, and he right. says about three thousand people are playing on Steam right now. That might be enough that it starts. I don't know. It was kind of weird to I find. I think too. I think it would have spread. And yeah. and the, and their idea was like it was not one set time it would it would happen. It was any time during like the story or campaign or whatever. And it was just randomly you're doing okay. something and all of a sudden... No, if it did that, out. then totally. The Where it is in the game is kind of just like bumfuck nowhere in a jungle. Okay. So if it ha- if it would have to happen while you're doing something else, for sure. Yeah, like it's completely random. Yeah. Yep. He just pops up and just like murders one of your dudes. Sure. Then the, then it would spread for sure. Yeah. I thought you but meant just cool like as it is, been? people just stumble into that area, I don't think would happen. That would be cool. And there's a lot of cool things here. When you're fighting the Predator, the music is playing that plays in when Arnie is sh- kind of showing down with him in the jungle. Okay, that's cool. So that's cool. He does the whole thing when he you think he's dead that he starts laughing all creepily and like sets a nuke to explode as a final fuck you to you and your team nice, if you don't get away nice. in time. Like this is a cool this is a cool like mashup. It works because, the, like, there's no other game really where you're, you're just kind of aimlessly doing military stuff in a jungle that they could put Predator in, I guess. And so it works for this. 
It's just a giant open world jungle in Colombia. Like it's the, right. it's actually the perfect setting and everything for this sort of thing. But yeah, it's That's really good. cool. And this is a free little update. Yep, it's a free cool. update, and I think it runs until January, first week of January or something. Great. Yeah, and perfect time. It's Christmas. So thematically, that's right. Yep. And then you get the Predator mask as a like thing you can wear after. And it changes your thermal vision to Predator thermal vision, which basically means it looks shittier, which is so good. <laughs> it's that's so good. good. Yeah. Yeah. Look, it's not your fault you can't read it correctly. Right, exactly. It's so good because your normal thermal vision is very military, like, like what you would expect from like a Metal Gear Solid or something. Like and useful. The, yeah, the Predator thermal vision is like kind of the same. Only everything that's not heat, like, not hot, that stands out, like all the forest stuff and buildings, just look like black, blue garbage splotches everywhere. So okay. good. Yeah. Cool. Good stuff though. I thought it was cool. cool. So yeah, that's it though. That's all I've done. All right, uh, let's go on to the bit of news we have. Yeah, uh, I think this this morning Apple announced going forward all apps are going to have to disclose the odds for their loot boxes. Sure, this is a thing that some countries actually just have always had for their loot boxes yeah. Yeah. for like so, any game. So this makes sense. Yeah, cool. Glad to see Apple is stepping that direction, I guess. I don't know. That just seems like something that should have yeah, been I'm there. Kinda, I'm kind of curious, like, what games they'll be, like, backlash towards when they realize, like, oh, I had 0.0001% of getting anything. Yeah. I think I'm done with this game. Yeah. So I think I there's we'll going to be a few of those, for sure. Um, although, I like, I don't play any of these games, so I won't really be able to, like, see firsthand. But I'm sure some games will come out and... I'll hear some new stories or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, the next game from that game company, Sky, has a release date. It's going to be March 2018 mm -hmm. in the States. It is already out, I believe, in the Philippines. Yes, uh, they soft launched in the Philippines right now. Oh. So, so you can probably find some video of it online. I'm actually just watching a teaser of it. It looks exactly how I figured it probably would. Cool. Uh, they announced this uh, back at the um, like the iPhone event in September, I believe. Yep. Yep. So anyway, so March. Cool. Uh, Nintendo Power has come back as a podcast. Oh, thank God. This was super weird. So Nintendo has, has released the Nintendo Power podcast. They yep. released it on SoundCloud, which is which is weird to me. I mean, that's a totally fine podcast service. I just figured Nintendo would be big enough to just have like their own website with an RSS feed. <laughs> sure. Um, and uh, so I didn't really ever, when I was reading Nintendo power, I didn't really know the names behind Nintendo power, but I guess me this neither. does have the old editor in chief. Let me get uh, Chris slate. I guess he was part of Nintendo power. It was a big part of Nintendo power and, he, and he's doing the show. Yeah. Okay. Um, but again, when I was reading Nintendo power, I was a lot younger. I wasn't really following the writers and whatnot. So I, I don't know. I don't have any attachment to this guy, but it's sure. Chris Slate. In the first episode, he's interviewing uh, people who worked on Breath of the Wild. Sure. Uh, Makes sense. So you can, I'm just trying to find the whole link to it. It's uh, soundcloud.com slash Nintendo Power Podcast. Yep. That is uh, it for sure. Uh, so that's, that's kind of interesting. Uh, someone in the chat is saying it's also on YouTube now. Yep. <clears throat> so cool. There you go. That's actually real cool. I'm going to listen to It's super to that. interesting for sure. Yeah. 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 All right. I don't know much about this one. It was sent in to us. Uh, Rising Thunder developers release source code for canceled indie fighting game. Yeah. So, Rising Thunder is a fighting game that uh, some dudes were making with the premise of it kind of plays like a MOBA in that you have your abilities that you can set. It It's kind of like if in Street Fighter, instead of having to do like any button combos to say do like a Hadouken or something. It would just be a single button that goes on a cooldown. And you kind of okay. customize your character to for whatever moves you want. 
And it focuses more on the whole mental aspect of fighting games, of, like, knowing when to, like, not blow a super, essentially, or any of that sort of thing, knowing when to go in and when to back off and all that sort of stuff. So these guys were bought out by Riot. So this project died. Oh, right. The reason why guess, this is big is I guess because... Seth Killian was the producer on it? Yeah. So the reason this is big is because they're actually just releasing what they've had already for people to finish this, which is great news, because it was just dead. It was just a thing that didn't exist anymore. And now yeah. it can. And the saying, uh, we're going to leaving it in the hands of the community to continue to play and improve. Yep. That's kind of cool. Yep. And last bit of news. Um, they're making a Catherine remake. Sure. <laughs> Which is kind of weird. Out of nowhere, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and it, one of the uh, reasons... So it's coming to PS4 and Vita. Yeah, sure. Like Vita games. Uh -huh. I think Papers, Please just came out on Vita last week. Like, so that thing is, is still alive. Cool. Um, anyway, this is Catherine Full Body Edition. Of course, yeah. And it's called... Uh, one of the reasons, though, that they listed um, was because of competitive Catherine. So I guess, like, huh. way to go with those guys. And I believe That's they're even putting in like better good. multiplayer uh, functionality because of that. That's really good. <laughs> I really like yeah. that. I always thought it was super funny that there was Catherine, competitive Catherine at Evo every year. And I guess, uh, you know, they just kept it live and now they're getting a remake. So that's kind of cool. I like Catherine. I guess there's going to be new endings. That game had a bunch of different endings. Uh, I don't know if I'll play Catherine again, but I do like that game. Sure. So yeah. What good news? <laughs> what a weird little thing. I yeah, like it. No, that's super weird. Yeah. Uh, that's it for news. Let's go on to our one question. If people want to send in questions, which you should, because we didn't get very many last week or this week. Um, it's top down perspective at gmail.com at TDP podcast on Twitter, the Facebook group, the discord channel, John's PO box. And uh, someone else read this because I need to blow my nose again. Yep, All I right. can get it. Uh, I can't read that name, though. Famous Book Teacher wrote in and said, Alrighty, guys, my friend and I were playing Pocket Cam together, and I was telling her that Ketchup is my favorite villager because they are red, and the bit of hair is shaped like a leaf to make the character resemble a tomato. She was shocked she never made that connection before. My question is, have you ever seen an obvious reference to in a game before or and blown a friend's mind when pointing it out to them so the one that came to mind right away was it with you guys or someone else where they were blown away that miles per hour was miles per hour and it's like they their mind opened for the first time ever or something once that happened i don't know i've i've known about that for actually. i've known about that for a okay while. that must have been yeah that must have been a different group of people because I was just like, really? <laughs> it's so obvious, but whatever. That was a big one for me that I thought was funny. Uh, I can't think of any off the top of my head. Any weird, like, reference? Yeah, weird reference. You got any, John? Uh, no, nothing's really coming to mind. I know it's happened. I feel yeah, like it happens either. a lot when talking to Emil, but... Uh... Yeah, this thing even mentioned, like, you have to involve something that doesn't involve... You have to find something that doesn't involve a meal. Mm. Yeah. For people listening, it actually literally says... <laughs> I had to double check because I did not realize it was there, sure enough. <laughs> yeah, well, in that case, then I can't think of anything. Yeah, Can you think enough. of any that involve a meal? Because I can't think of any right now. There's a lot. It's too many. <laughs> Okay, Some of them I can't even say because they're not in videos that have been posted yet. Okay. Oh. <laughs> and those are probably the ones that are like fresh in your head. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm sure there's more. I just don't know what the hell they'd be. Well, I'm glad uh, our one question this week, we don't have an answer to. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you so stumped that, us. <laughs> that was good. Sorry. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I have answers, but I'm not allowed to say them, so. Mm hmm All right. Um... If people want to send in questions for next week, once again, top down perspective at gmail.com at TDP podcast on Twitter, the Facebook group, the discord channel and John's PO box. Yeah. Uh, what's your guys games of the week? Uh, Yakuza zero. 
Ghost Recon. Uh, Night in the Woods. Nice. Cool. Um, once again, another reminder, we have the community survey going on for a couple more weeks, so you should do it if you haven't done it. Um, and I think that's about it right now. Anything else you guys want to say? Uh, Green Fantastic says, even though I'm usually an audio listener, how much do I need to Patreon so Sean could get a better angle for his camera? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My camera is fine. It sits right on the bottom of my monitor. There's nothing wrong with that. Although I was thinking, I maybe I should get like a better camera since I'm still using the Xbox Live Vision camera. Are oh you really? My God. That's the Vision, really? Yeah. Or I could just keep it and then just like, yo, make it make it blurry every week. That's actually it, super surprising quality. For yeah. <laughs> that I, I like how it's better than my built-in laptop one. Oh yeah, I've never not used this guy. Huh. This thing's great. Interesting. Um, so you talked about the game of the year thing. The like community one, yep. Yeah. When are we going to cut that off then? Just the end of the year? I don't know. Just No, just whenever we do the show. Oh, yeah. Did we tell people how late we're doing the show this year? No, we can do that. Yeah, we're doing it in January, right? Probably. Yeah. And we've done it in January before. Uh, yep. Um, but this year, I think it's going to be around January 11th or 11th, so. 11th, yeah. Just because John's... Uh, uh, traveling and I want to more time yeah. to play games while I'm uh, on my break. Yep. So it'll be around the 11th this year. Um, yep. Also, there should be a show every week still, even with the holidays going on, we'll work something out. Yep. I should be able to, should be able to tackle that. Yep. Um, this was the first week we implemented the, the new tier for the Patreon where if you're on the $5 level, you get your name across and they've been scrolling the whole time. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you if you are a five dollar uh, patron, check out the the archive of this video, and you'll get to see your name there. So that's kind of cool. Thanks again. Also, I should mention if you don't want your real name there, do not use your real name in Patreon because that's the list we pull from. We can't make up a name for you if we don't know who you are. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> just go ahead that's and good, use your internet point. name. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. All right. Thanks everyone for tuning in. We'll see you next week. Bye.